city is endless to the edges of the world. West and east, north and south, unbroken. The city goes on long arterial highways spreading into the streets and boulevards, nourishing the buildings that are born and age and die. It has always been this way. It must always be this way, the city off and for itself. The silent lives of empty rooms. Men live here too. While the walls stand and the seals hold, their shelters are their homes. But seasons pass and walls rot and old buildings make way for new. Men live here too, but they are few and frightened and afraid. The city is full of fear, fear of the wind, rising up day after day, flaying and fraying board and tile and fixture and finish, flinging the points, edges and weights that pierce, cut and crush shouldering between the black glass towers of the deep city until they buckle, crack and shatter into smoke. Fear of fire and the firestorm, boundless hunger leaping the alleys, like a sun in the night, shredding walls and blistering the black streets. Above ground, the death of the oven below ground, drowning without water, grasping for lost air. Fear of the flood. Rising from below, the rain rushing down, filling the sewers, topping the curbs, seeping under the doors, lying in the beds, blundering the cabinets, climbing the stairs, lapping the attics and the roofs, leaving poison and decay behind as it drags men and dogs back down into darkness, down into the sunless ways, the brick and concrete houses where the rat rules. But those are fears in season. Every day they fear the light that falls from the bulbs, beautiful to see deadly to touch, coiled behind every button and every switch, strained in every wire, cord and cable that drapes and quickens the city. Mothers and fathers tell their children what their mothers and fathers told them. Don't touch the socket, the naked wire, the fallen cable. And because the mothers and fathers are afraid, so are the children. But men mostly fear their own. They fear raiders. The highway is their place, where they leave old stores for new, as they hate the softness of a settled place, so they know each other only as enemies. When they meet, they fight. And when they find a settled people, they take. But even raiders fear the blight. Only the highway is ours, and we are the highways. To wander too long away from it, lost in the streets, glad and baffled by the narrow silent spaces in the mirror-faced towers, is to become as lost within as without. Everyone knows the signs. Everyone knows how around some sudden corner the street cracks with cracks that rise and claw their way up the walls and windows, crazing the bricks and boards into one bright clotted mass of restless color. Everyone knows that a lost man has wandered too long in the deep city, that his mind and soul have turned forever down some blind alley that his body has passed on its infection to brick, vinyl, concrete, steel. Everyone knows to run from it, the thing called graffiti and never to come back, 
for as the highway withdraws from the poison and starves it, the blight rots away. And someday the tired roofs will fall, driving grey plumes of fine clean dust into the open sky. To be lost and alone in the deep city is worse than death. To be lost and alone on the highway is better than death, but hard to tell apart.